Welcome to Smarter Storage for Tomorrow's Opportunities, where we will be diving into what are the essential characteristics of storage that will help organizations manage their way through the AI data tsunami in a resilient, efficient, and easy to use manner. Today, to help me unpack this and to really kick things off, I have Travis Vigil, who's the SVP of ISG Portfolio Management at Dell, Ed Pullen, who's the Director of IP Marketing with Intel, and Jonathan Cowell, who's the Head of Specialty Engineering at AHEAD. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you Thanks for having us. Yeah, so, it's great to be here. Yeah, I, I think, again, you know, having, you know, three really uh, knowledgeable and really connected to the customer folks on here to help us understand specifically diving in on efficiency. And I think there's a lot of advancements that are really happening in AI and in technology and data centers. And we see it in our, in our numbers that about 50% of people who are building cloud native applications such as AI are actually bringing it back on premise bringing the AI to the data. Uh, Travis, with the rapid advancement of AI technologies, where are you witnessing, you know, things that are just growing out of exponentially and people are really trying to get to production. In fact, our, our partner ETR says that 82% of companies are still trying to get to production. How do you see the need for efficiency evolving in this age of AI and what does that mean and how do people look at it about being cost effective and efficient at the same time in today's business environment? That's a, it's a great question, Rob. And, and you know, from our perspective, it's a, it's a pivotal moment in IT and customers are um, using this, um, this rise of generative AI to reevaluate their data strategy. And we're starting to see that reevaluation lead to changing purchasing behavior. Um, based on our conversations with customers and, and, and surveys we've done, 81% of IT leaders believe AI is going to transform their industry and infrastructure. And at the same time, 84% of company critical data remains on premises. And so what we're seeing is that customers are really looking for a solution that allows, allows them to, to utilize storage for generative AI and provide them flexibility and choice for their private cloud. Now, Dell absolutely supports our customers no matter which architecture they choose, but we also have a point of view. And one thing that we're seeing from the trends above is that there is an increased interest in shared storage as an alternative to HCI. And the reasons you know, kind of relate to what, what I was talking about. When you um, compare HCI to share, shared storage, shared storage offers some key benefits that dovetail, dovetail nicely to the situation the IT leaders find themselves in and the rise of generative AI. First, compute and storage are independent, so you can scale them and, and mix and match them as needed. Second, you have the flexibility to use shared storage for existing and new workloads like generative AI. And third, uh, shared storage supports all the major hypervisors and partners, and, and it's not just a siloed uh, approach. It, it gives customers flexibility and choice. And last but certainly not least, uh, we've seen customers that, that, that have deployed uh, shared storage have up to a 25% lower cost coming from things like uh, data reduction, um, the reduction of core counts, and licensing savings. One of the things that people have been talking to us about as well is that efficiency that they're trying to gain while you know the data is just exploding even faster than it has in the past decades. But really, Travis, what does cost efficiency mean and how, how are really organizations uh, addressing this going forward? Yeah, for, for us, I mean, efficiency really comes down to making the most of your resources and reducing uh, you know, all of the various types of costs, acquisition, utilization, management, power and cooling, that, that's all part of efficiency. But what we've seen customers really zero in on is that the cost savings have to be long-term and predictable. We are moving into a very dynamic time with generative AI, really uncharted territory, and that's exciting. But things are only going to get more dynamic rather, less, rather than less going forward. And so 
IT managers that are charged with keeping their businesses cost efficient also need to be agile and flexible in this environment so they can take advantage of the opportunities as they arise. And to do this, you have to be able to control the cost side in a way that's very predictable, even when things change. And one of the things that, that, that uh, we believe that you have to have for predictable cost efficiencies for storage are things like our five to one data reduction guarantee, where we guarantee customers will receive five to one efficiency on compressible data. That all makes a lot of sense about the efficiency and the guarantee, but you know, as the guarantee is, it, the rubber meets the road with the technology. So let's let's bring in Jonathan and uh, Ed to kind of you know let's take a next level down on that. Time to get nerdy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so this I, you know, I love getting into the weeds a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> we, it's it's you got to you got to give the you know the the public want the nerdiness. So let's try yeah. to drive into that. Let me take off my glasses and turn on the turn on Superman. But um, yeah, this is this is a big deal. And ahead, as we've been a longtime partner with Dell, uh, and I got my first exposure to PowerStore in 2019 when we were doing the beta testing. Uh, it was really important to us to you know rip through the layers and the of the onion and start to understand really how the technology works. So when I, I was actually the guy hands on keyboard doing a lot of this testing for a head and uh, you know, short of taking a hammer to the system, I tried to break all of these things uh, and found out that it actually broke some of the scripts that I had written to do the testing. I was getting data reduction on workloads that I was sending at this that I didn't get on other systems, even extreme IO. So they, they took great technology, they brought it forward and improved upon it and then continued to add onto that through the life. And we've seen another advancement with with PowerStore Prime and the 4.0 features that are coming out. So like you think about the intelligence that's in the system, it, it's fantastic and it gets better. And they brought more features to it that they, we see on some of the other platforms. Uh, and like people talk about inline deduplicate compression, there's another layer in there, uh, like zero reclaim, some of those some of those nerdy terms that get thrown out. Uh, but that's actually a big deal. And the more of that you get, right? I said at the beginning, you get more performance out of the system. That That's finding efficient, efficiency on top of efficiency. And to our customers, that's a big deal. Um, when you make those technology changes, there's shifts in the industry. You know, we're living through it. One of the nice things about PowerStore, is like Travis mentioned, supporting all those workloads in one place. I can run virtualization, I can run containers, and I can start performing AI with one system. That, that's efficiency just in man hours and how to, how to manage and maintain this. And then as you dig into the system, the underlying technologies, I think you get to the, what drives that performance. I, I mentioned better dedupe gets better and better as you go. But then, our, you know, our good friends over at Intel invest, invented some technology that added to that and just took us to another level. And that other level gives us consistency, which me as a partner means I can go to market with this system and bring it to my customer with a lot of a lot of confidence. And Ed, I don't know if you want to chime in there on, on what what Intel has done. We tested it. We saw great results. And I think it's impressive what uh, what you guys offer. Yeah. I, uh, first of all, you know, it's been an exciting ride here uh, working with, with Dell um, through the generations of this technology. Uh, it, it has been quick assist, Intel quick assist technology has been in the market for over a decade. Um, with each generation, you know, we work with, with partners like yourself uh, to develop new algorithms, new performance. And, and of course, with this fourth generation of the IP, with the, the Intel Xeon Scalable, we are actually integrated into the Xeon device. And, and with that, we can get uh, about um, 20 gigabytes per second of, of compression performance, about 40 gigabytes per second of, of decompression performance. And, and that's with the deflate algorithm. We support other algorithms as well. And, and we can go down to level nine uh, compression for that data footprint efficiency. And, and when we, you know, that uh, term efficiency, we, we've heard a lot already in this discussion, uh, that's what the accelerator is about. Uh, when, when we talk about the efficiencies of Intel QAT for compression decompression, uh, it is off the charts uh, with, with a deflate level one, it would take the equivalent of greater than 100 cores to do what the accelerator can do. Having smarter storage and being more efficient makes us all seem smarter for that matter. Yeah, absolutely. And you can't, you can't 
not think about too the data protection that's in there. So I get efficient data protection on the resiliency of the drives. And as the system gets smarter, I'm continuing to give space back to my customer without having to ask them for a purchase order. And you know, the less you have to get procurement involved, the faster a customer can run. Um, and just doing a software upgrade, which is a normal thing in everybody's IT life. Um, and you get added features out of that. Just, I think Travis made the point of, it has to be price, price right today, but it also has to match the price tomorrow. That just continues to, you know, remind people that the right decision that they've made with PowerStore. So data reduction promises are one thing, but delivering on them is completely different and a total different thing. Again, you know, rubber meets the road. Dell offers a pretty substantial five to one data reduction guarantee with PowerStore. How does this guarantee work particularly and assure businesses that they'll actually achieve efficiency levels that you're really mentioning here? Yeah, so Jonathan talked a little bit about PowerStore Prime. So, so certainly the software enhancements that we, we released in, in PowerStore Prime are, are part of it. But we have been uh, shipping PowerStore for more than four years now, and we have filled proven success from our per previous releases. And that really boosted our confidence to take the data reduction guarantee from four to one to five to one on, on reducible data. And it, it's, it's a very straightforward uh, guarantee versus some of the other things that you see in the market. First, there's no assessment or program signature required. We're confident enough in our technology, we're guaranteeing it to every customer. Second, it covers PowerStore for the entire maintenance contract up to five years, which is unlike some competitors who offer a shorter coverage period, some of them are 90 days, some of them are 36 months, it varies by competitor, but ours is for the entire maintenance contract. And third, in the, uh, the unlikely event you don't receive the efficiency promised, we will provide free drives, not just a discount on future purchase for up to 50% of the installed capacity. So that's the guarantee, that's the, the sum total of it, very straightforward, very simple. And uh, we've seen numerous success stories uh, in the field, and I'm sure Jonathan has seen some as well, where uh, PowerStore has greatly exceeded the guarantee. And that just reinforces how confident we are in delivering value to the businesses. In fact, one, uh, one customer, a genome customer uh, we have is achieving nine to one in production. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, you know, and like to speak to that from our customers, and Ahead is also a customer of Dell. We run PowerStore for our internal virtual infrastructure. Thank uh, you for that, Jonathan. Yeah, uh, we didn't come asking for free drives. I don't have a lot of customers asking me for free drives. Uh, to me, the, the, uh, the subtle feature of the new guarantee is that we don't need a signature. Um, I think sales reps, when they're in a campaign, the only thing they want to get signed is the purchase order. So one less document to, to have to chase down is, is actually a big time saver for, uh, for the partners of the world. Um, but the, the guarantee is a big deal. Yeah, I, I think that's key to organizations that they feel that they're going to get what they, you know, what they bought, right? I mean, that's what everybody wants and that truly does. Taking a different approach and kind of, you know, again, uh, you know, it's a big topic these days is sustainability. And as organizations really prioritize sustainability and reducing energy consumption, and environmental impact, you know, it becomes critical. You know, how does Powers, you know, Power Store really contribute to the sustainability goals and what tangible benefits does it offer regarding energy efficiency and operational cost savings? Yeah, I think that this is a big deal, especially from the partner side, because we look at like everything that's going into the solution. So we're looking outside of just the storage array and where can we make savings? But if I, if I can offset um, other technology decisions that I have to make, like, I'm buying a whole bunch of GPUs, which are power hungry, uh, and I can save on power in the storage system. Right now I can start talking about sustainability. Uh, I'm based in Atlanta, Georgia. We actually have a lot of power. The state of Georgia just uh, approved the fourth uh, nuclear power plant, right, or tower to stand up to deliver more power. So all those Eastern Virginia customers come to Georgia, will will happily take your uh, workloads. But we're starting to see it at the customer side come out in RFPs. Um, for the last couple of years, you would typically see it in the uh, kind of energy dense areas, New York, Eastern Virginia, out West in California, where, where power was a problem. You start to see customers ask about it and really care about it. Um, and we talk about all the efficiency that we've already talked about today. That delivers more IO per watt, right? More capacity per watt. Those are those are numbers that customers are starting to measure and care about. And when you when you see PowerStore continue to add on to those features, continue to drive down those numbers, 
um, in impressive ways where I can even offset co-location rack expansions that I don't need to buy because I bought a more efficient storage array. But customers appreciate that. So how do we do it more with less and how we do more with less without having to make and tackle decisions? That to me is what sustainability means. And that's less power consumption and more effectiveness out of the power that I'm delivering. Uh, and we've seen power stores show up there and show up in impressive ways. And uh, even with the new platform, the 3200Q based on QLC media, the amount of density that you can get into U and the amount of energy that it takes to draw to power that being so low competitively, that's it's impressive. Um, it matters it, and it results in real dollar savings that are hard numbers that a customer can actually show back to, you know, the, the financial people uh, in the business and what they track. And you know, we call that FinOps now. So all those things matter. Power Store continues to to release new technology and, and drive that in the, in the right direction for our customers. With the pace of technology change accelerating, businesses need solutions that are efficient today and designed to address tomorrow's challenges as we were just talking about with things like AI. How does Power Store's intelligent efficiency and scalable architecture help organizations remain agile and competitive in this unpredictable future? Because we don't know what workloads are coming down the pipe after Gen AI. Yeah, great, great question, Rob. And, and I think Jonathan did a really nice job talking about some of the, the, um, the uh, efficiency we have in terms of data reduction and power and cooling. And uh, when we create capabilities, it's really about providing the right automation and insight into the, uh, into the storage to allow customers to get the most out of their environment. And one of the good examples that we have on that is a new accounting feature, which really helps customers make more intelligent decisions on how they manage growing data volumes. And, and as you mentioned, Rob, data is, is growing exponentially. The capacity, the capacity accounting uh, capability de delivers uh, insights into the efficiency of a customer's array, and it offers detailed metrics on reducible and unreducible data at various levels, which makes it very easy for a customer to one, check on the status of, the, of their guarantee and request free drives in the extremely unlikely event that we aren't achieving what we've guaranteed. But more importantly, administrators can identify less reducible volumes and proactively and seamlessly migrate that data to a more cost efficient array like the, the 3200Q, our QLC based arrays that uh, Jonathan uh, mentioned earlier. And they can do that in a non-disruptive uh, process using our native clustering and data mobility tools. So that's just one example, and there are so many more. And I wanna, I wanna add to that, I think one of the uh, added values to the unreducible reporting. Um, customers are dealing with so much, and the other the other attack factor that's coming on is cyber, right? Mm -hmm. Ransomware, those types of events. Now I have another metric that I can use um, to monitor my system to see if something has happened. And that, that means whatever tools that I'm running, whatever the CISO, the security teams and things like that are bringing to the environment, I, have, I now have another data point to identify where a potential uh, attack has happened before another tool has seen it. Because this is this is happening real time. I'm looking for non-reducible data and reporting on it, and I can go look at that. And if that's increasing, right? I can look at snapshots. I can also look at uh, my data reduction actual ratio. And if those numbers are changing, and I can start to see it, I can identify it at a per volume level, and go see where, like, see if there's been an exposure or an attack that's happening before another tool has detected it. And it, like you talk about doing more with less. Now I'm not only talking about the efficiency of the array itself. But I'm serving the business to protect them from you know all the bad actors out there that are coming after all that data that's being created. It's a, it's a really good point, Jonathan. And and you know we spent so much of this conversation talking about efficiency, talking about generative, generative AI. We talked about power and cooling. The consistent conversation that is always in the top three, no matter what else is going on, is cyber. Yeah. And and you know we continue to build those capabilities into the array. Uh, we have tight inter integration with our Power Protect uh, DD capabilities, where you can do backups without having to go through a backup server and, and get excellent performance that way. And so it's a it's an area of investment in addition to efficiency that we continue to uh, innovate on uh, from Dell in our storage portfolio. Fast backups, fast restores. That's a big deal when you're recovering, right? The business. Indeed, yeah. and and being able to tell something bad's going on. Yeah. 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 
and that's a different kind of efficiency for the businesses as well. So I, I think again, it, it it does fit fit the theme pretty you know pretty well. So I, hey, I want to thank you guys for coming on board, Travis, Ed, and Jonathan. Really, you know, it's been great getting uh, a little bit nerdy with everybody today and, you know, diving in on this stuff and really understanding Power Store and how things are, you know, being future-proofed, how multi-layer technologies and deployments and architectures really have that efficiency and why, uh, you know, all the way down to the chip level. This, is, this has been great. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Honor to be here. Thank you. And thank you for watching Smarter Storage for tomorrow's opportunities. We got way more coming up next. Stay tuned and we'll be right back on theCUBE.